Hi, this is Gonzalo from the AWS Glue team. And today I want to show you how to be more cost effective by using the new cost saving features just released on Glue Streaming ETL jobs. Streaming ETL jobs in general are more challenging than batch jobs from the cost point of view. This is because they have specific and competing requirements that often require us to make trade offs. In most cases, the stream volume is variable, and when we might have some indication, it will often constantly vary and typically will have peak periods combined with others with little or even no traffic. At the same time, it's common for streaming jobs to have some required SLA service level agreement that defines the maximum latency tolerated from the moment the message is published till the job has successfully processed it. Even if this SLA is generous, it becomes a challenge when we combine it with a highly variable volume of data. On top of this, streaming jobs are expected to run most of the time when not 24-7, so a small difference in the cluster cost per hour can make a big difference in the monthly bill. Meeting all these requirements often meant you had to sacrifice cost effectiveness. But we're going to see now how we can reconciliate all these things with the new features released. The first feature is auto scaling. Most streaming jobs don't have a constant volume of data and therefore don't have the same capacity requirements over time. If you provision your capacity to meet the SLA at peak times, it means that during low volume periods, all that additional capacity will be wasted which is represented in the graph by the orange areas that we see there. By enabling glue streaming autoscaling, you can define a maximum capacity allowed and let the job automatically adjust to the needs and reduce the cluster size when not needed to save on cost. The second feature is a new type of a small worker node specific for streaming. The new 0.25x is the quarter of a GPU in cost, provides 2 cores and 4 GB of RAM. With this new node, the minimum cost of a cluster is significantly reduced and this can be a good choice for low demand use cases as well as jobs with significant quiet periods. Combined with auto scale, it means you can have a job that is performant when it's needed by adding more nodes, but it's also highly cost effective by not having excess of capacity when it's not required. Okay, so let's create now a streaming job to illustrate how we can use those new features. So we are here in Glue Studio, create a new job. Now we're gonna change the source to be a streaming source. Uh, Kinesis, I have a stream already here defined. Now we're gonna put, imagine these transformations is whatever you need in your job. Can I put this just as an example? Uh, let's put the parent kinesis and then we're gonna save it into a bucket example. Okay, so now we have our streaming job. We go to job details and automatically has detected that this is a streaming job due to the source. And because it's a streaming job, it has this new type of node available, so we can choose from the normal ones, plus this additional one special for streaming to be more cost efficient if the job doesn't need that capacity. And then we can enable it to scale in just by clicking here. Now, you will set the number of workers you need, the same as the regular job, but when you enable auto scaling, this changes to the maximum number of workers instead of the requested. So it means that it's going to use up to this number of workers in total. But if we don't need that capacity, it's going to free nodes until it goes down to the minimum of two, which is the driver and one worker. And that way it can save in capacity when it's not needed. Now let's do some numbers for a sample streaming use case. Imagine we have a job to process logs generated by users on a website and we try to monitor their experience in near real time. This website is for small businesses in a region and the vast majority of traffic happens during standard business hours. However, there are normally a few users working at odd times or even weekends and exceptionally there can be something unexpected. So we want the service to be running at all times. 
during performance testing, we determined that during those business hours, it needs four workers to be able to keep up with the data streamed, including another node for the driver and using the default 1x nodes. It means the computing cost for this service running 24-7 is $1,584 per month. Now, if we enable it to scaling with those same five nodes, then we found that we only pay for two nodes all the time and three nodes extra for working hours. And that brings down the cost to a little over $950 per month. Finally, during performance testing, we see that at quiet times, the new 0.25x worker can do the job as well, but during working hours, we will need nine of those smaller nodes to get the equivalent computer power of the old cluster. Now, with this new configuration, we found that the cost comes down to a little bit over $343 a month. That's a whopping 78% savings per month. These features are already available for you to try and start saving. Thanks for listening.